owning a home, it's an amazing thing, but with it comes so many responsibilities. And you have to make sure you take all the safety precautions to make sure you live in a safe home. We all know the threats that carbon monoxide and gas leaks pose, but have you heard of radon? Radon is a colorless, odorless, tasteless gas. And how it's formed it, I'll let the experts take it from here. When radon seeps from the ground into the outdoor air, it is diluted to low concentrations. Radon can become a problem when it seeps into an indoor space and levels begin to build up. As radon breaks down, it forms radioactive particles that can get lodged in your lung tissues when you breathe. This radioactive material has the potential to cause damage. This damage can then lead to cancer. Yes, cancer. Radon is the second leading cause of lung cancer after smoking and the leading cause of lung cancer for people who have never smoked. So now that you know all the health risks associated with high levels of radon, you're probably thinking, how do I know if my house is at risk? Well, you have two options. First off, you can hire a radon management specialist to come to your house and check to see if you have high levels of radon. Or you can purchase an at-home do-it-yourself little kit that looks just like this. I have it upside down. A common do-it-yourself radon test kit is called an alpha track detector. These detectors use a small piece of special plastic enclosed in a container. The detector is exposed to the air in a home for a specified time. When the radon in the air enters the chamber, the alpha particles produced by decay leaves marks on the plastic. At the end of the test, the detector is returned to a laboratory for analysis and the average radon concentration is calculated. Once you've received the results from your radon test, you can contact the City of Hamilton Public Health Services to have your results interpreted. If your results are between 200 to 600 becquerels per meter cubed, then we recommend you look at getting remediation done within two years. And if your results are over 600 becquerels per meter cubed, then you should look at getting your house remediated within one year. Okay, so you get the results and it turns out your home is radon free. Congratulations, that's great news. But know this, there are a few things you can continue to do to make sure your home stays radon free by sealing major entry routes, such as open sumps, floor drains, floor wall joints, exposed soil, floor cracks, and voids in concrete block walls and foundation. So now that you know what radon is and the health risks associated with it, I hope you do everything you can to make sure your home stays radon free. For Inside City of Hamilton, I'm Kingdom Wyszynski. Thank you.